King, third highest ranking Justice Department official resigning. By Joshua Kaplan for thegatewaypundit.com. The third highest ranking Justice Department official, Rachel Brand, is leaving her post, reports the New York Times. Rachel Brand, the number three official at the Justice Department, plans to step down after nine months on the job as the country's top law enforcement agency has been under attack by President Trump, according to two people briefed on her decision. Ms. Brand's profile had risen in part because she is next in the line of succession behind the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who was overseeing the special counsel's inquiry into Russian influence in the 2016 election. Mr. Trump, who has called the investigation a witch hunt, has considered firing Mr. Rosenstein. Such a move could have put her in charge of the special counsel and, by extension, left her in the crosshairs of the president. Ms. Ban- uh, Brand, uh, who became the associate attorney general in May of 2017, is leaving for a job as general counsel in the private sector, meaning Walmart. She has held uh, politically appointed positions at the Justice Department over the past three presidential administrations. Brand holds an extensive portfolio overseeing Department's antitrust and civil rights decision, but they fail to mention that she was working under George Bush at that time, overseeing the uh, civil rights uh, division and uh, these kind of things. So in other words, she's a Bush uh, lackey. The outgoing official was instrumental in extending the National Security Agency's warrantless surveillance programs. Brand joins a growing list of key officials leaving FBI DOJ cabal amid Inspector General Michael Horowitz's probe into the Bureau's uh, Clinton email investigation. Top Justice Department officials David Lofman, who helped oversee the Hillary Clinton email investigation, resigned Wednesday, reported the Washington Post. Former FBI Special Counsel uh, Agent Josh Campbell recently quit the Bureau to join CNN, citing increasing level of criticism directed at the agency. Really? In the uh, New York uh, Times op-ed, Campbell wrote, to be effective, the FBI must be, uh, be believed and must maintain the support of the public it serves. The political attacks on the Bureau must stop. No, unless there's military put in to take over you corrupted people in that in that agency. If those uh, critics at the agency persuade the public that the FBI cannot be trusted, which you cannot be, they will also have succeeded in making our nation less safe, Campbell added. No, you actually made our our nation less safe. The whole FBI, the whole corrupt FBI. In what was a significant shakeup at the FBI, Deputy Director Andrew McCabe stepped down on January 29th. You wonder why? Because he was implicated in the insurance policy against Trump. Are you kidding me? McCabe, who served uh, as a brief stint uh, as acting director to the Bureau, was already expected to leave. He will stay on uh, terminal leave. Yeah, unless he's put in prison where he belongs until he is eligible to retire with benefits in March, we should we should make sure he doesn't retire with benefits. Or if he gets them, he's going in and there go the benefits. According to the Washington Post, McCabe intended to resign from the FBI once he was eligible for full, full pension benefits in March. No, he wouldn't have resigned, yeah. He would have stayed on and uh, he would have uh, been the corrupt person that he was, but he got caught. In late January, James Rubicki, a top FBI official who was once chief of staff to James Comey and current bureau uh, director Christopher Wray, resigned as well, because they're all corrupt. And also, I read another article where it says that uh, this, uh, what's her name, Uh, uh, this, uh, this Rachel Brand here, She also was involved in helping uh, uh, deter child trafficking. Don't make me laugh at this point, right? Don't make me laugh. You, and, and 
Walmart, I heard that she was connected the, the, where she's going to Walmart, something with the Clintons, but I'm not sure about that. But the corruption runs deep. Trump has to get military to take the place, take the whole FBI out from scratch and put military men in because they, they are working under, they're working under George Bush. All these are George Bush's lackeys. And all this is a plan to get Trump out of office. And that's why she got herself out because she says, I'm not dealing with this. But again, where is she going? To Walmart? Are you kidding me? And who's involved with Walmart? That's, what I, that's the question. Is it something where she got a job through the Clintons? I don't know. But this woman is just as corrupt. She worked under George Bush. So if she worked for Bush, what does that tell you? But this article fails to mention it. Come on. The, the corruption runs deep. And uh, unless you get the military in to clean them out and arrest, make arrests, and uh, it's not going to happen. And uh, the Bushes, the Bushes have to be arrested. That's, that's what has to take place in order for, the, for this to be all cleaned up. But they're very powerful, and uh, I don't know how this is going to be done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.